it was so brilliant of Ralph to understand what Eugene could bring to this foundation. That experienced, methodical mind. His care for people. His sense of fairness. You know, as an immigrant and his experience in Detroit, his understanding of the community. He would never step forward to take the credit for anything on his own. He didn't say much in meetings, you know, but he always made a difference. The things he said, they were often pivotal and they usually got us moving in the right direction, like arts and culture. Which is absolutely driving economic development. And Eugene just looked me right in the eye and said, it's not part of our mission right now, but I'm going to make it our mission. So on behalf of everyone here, could I just say thank you? His legacy is going to be important to the Wilson Foundation, but it's going to be more important to the city of Detroit. He was one of the key architects of the Grand Bargain. Finishing the Grand Bargain was a huge project. I mean, it was phenomenal. This is outside of a very successful law practice. Even at 85, he always did the work. He had time for family. And did five times more than a normal person. We are so pleased to dedicate this place, this very, very magical and special place to Eugene and Elaine Dreiker. I'm going to really, really mess up. He changed the way we look at things, and that's what's hearing about not having him. The rest of us are going to have to step it up a little bit. We can glue on to the values that Eugene demonstrated. We always say, what would Ralph do? And now we add to that, what would Eugene do? What would Eugene be in favor of? How would he vote? How would he look for proof and evidence? How would he probe and challenge? We all will have him in our hearts and in our head. You know, a balancer of thought. Truthful and mindful. Eugene was true blue. He left an impression that I don't think will leave any of us in our lifetimes. And we all take what he's brought and make it even bigger.